Today we're in Secret Star Arboretum to talk about some of the ways that gardeners can help pollinators create habitat in their garden, plant plants in their garden, and, and create and maintain their gardens in a way that encourages bees and butterflies and other pollinators. Why do we care about pollinators? Well, we like to say that one out of every three bites of food that we take or drinks that we drink comes to us because of animal pollinators. That can be bees and butterflies, that can be small mammals in different parts of the world, uh, it can be hummingbirds and other, other creatures that are working to take pollen from flower to flower. So one key to bringing bees and butterflies to your garden is to plant groups together in mass. That big mass of flowers is a draw for the pollinators. They can smell the flowers, they can see the colors. The yellows and whites tend to be the colors that bees see best, also blues and pinks. Some flowers tend to be complicated for bees and um, because of some of the horticultural traits that we've mixed in, maybe we've bred a flower to have lots of petals or to have a different flower color, and we may have bred out the attraction that brought the pollinators there. So plant some of those straight species, we call them, some of those more simple flowers that may tend to come back from seed. Try to have a variety of plants that bloom throughout the season. So plants that bloom early in spring are important to those early rising pollinators, the bumblebees, the, the queens that have made it through the winter. They need a quick uh, drink of nectar and a bite of pollen to get their nest started for the year. And also those late season flowers are important. Goldenrod and asters, those late fall flowers, help bees to be well fed to get them through the winter. So think about plants that can bloom, a couple plants that bloom every season through the year to help pollinators. So by incorporating all of these different flowers into the garden, by expanding the season of bloom from spring through the heat of summer and into fall, by putting lots of different colors in our garden, a lot of different flower shapes, and being careful about our use of pesticides, we can have a garden that's really abundant with a lot of bees and butterflies, hummingbirds, coming to visit our garden, adding a lot of natural life to the garden, and also helping to pollinate our garden crops.